Hey guys! Today I'm starting out on Five Mile Brook off Robinson Road and we are in the North Main Woods. It's just started to rain a little bit but that's just fine. I've got my rain gear on so I'm ready for it. We're gonna go right down this way and there's just a nice little falls down there I thought I'd like to show you guys. Thought maybe you'd like to come along. This is the other side of the brook here. It's looking pretty dry, pretty barren, but I assure you there is a waterfall down here. <laughs> so we're going to head into the woods. It's not really a hiking trail to get here. It's more of an animal trail, but it's been pretty well used by humans, so it's somewhat cleared up. So we're going to go check it out and uh, see what we can see. You can kind of tell this is where you're going in. You can see some old moose tracks in there. Nothing fresh from, it just poured rain just a little while ago. And uh, it stopped for a minute, <laughs> but it'll come back I'm sure. I love this walk because I like the mossy area. I like where the all the moss is on the sides of the brook here. It's really pretty. I like mossy forests. So you can tell it's not a very great trail, but it's good enough for me. So I know it's been a long time guys, I haven't been making too many videos and it's kind of kind of sad for me but I'm getting back into it slowly. Got a pretty little Rasula here, growing out of the moss, it's beautiful. And got some beautiful Oxalis over here. This is what they call gold thread. That's pretty cool. I've talked about that in numerous videos. Alright, so I'm just going to continue walking down the side of the brook here and I'll show you a couple of spots that I really like. And don't worry guys, I'll get the cobwebs for you. <laughs> beautiful forest. I really just love the mossy ground. It's so cool. Got something digging something up in there. Critters. It's definitely been far too long since I've been making my videos. The land out here is a lot different. Um, it's more privately owned by Irving Woodlands and it's just not the same as what I'm used to but I'm finding my little niche I'm finding little spots that I enjoy um, I can't go out and do like campfires like I used to well not supposed to so I'm trying to respect that and uh, Really the only places that I can start fires are going to be at campsites, and that's okay. Uh, it is what it is. Of course, you all know I like playing with fire, <laughs> but yeah. I like finding spots like this where I'm taking you guys because it's secluded and you're not going to have a lot of people walking through. Most of the um, more popular places always have people there. 
So it's kind of awkward to make a video when you're <laughs> surrounded by people. So this one's nice and secluded so I can bring you guys along and talk as much as I want <laughs> and not have someone look at me like, what the heck is she doing talking to herself? <laughs> Hopefully it's not too, too bouncy for you guys. I'm trying to walk steady, but you know how that goes. Especially in all this brush and sticks and such. we get got some deadly mushrooms coming up here. I haven't seen too, too many mushrooms this year for the lack of rain. But we're getting there. There's one. That one right there is definitely deadly. You don't want to eat this guy. Alright, so we're coming up to the first really cool spot. It's not the waterfall, but I just like how the ledge is on the backdrop. So I'll take you down there. i got to hop down, so I'm going to pause the camera for a second. Alright, so this spot, really cool spot. I would love to just sit here and have lunch one day, and I probably will. But you can just see how cool that ledge looks and the trees and the moss growing on the side of it. It's really hard to capture all of it, but I'll do my best, guys. It's almost like I need to step back a few more feet so that I can get the whole shot, but you can see how high the trees go up. It's just beautiful. And this looks like a, like an awesome spot to just kind of sit and swim and cool off if it's really warm out. I was thinking it was going to be warmer today. Um, when I left my place in Eagle Lake, it was really warm, like super hot warm. And I was figuring it was going to be a sweltering hike out here, so I was going to go swimming. But <laughs> it's actually cooled off quite a bit. And it's been raining. So... That's okay. But look at that nice little pool in there. It's really nice and clear. Doesn't look mucky at all. It's a cool shot right there. I just love the backdrop. That's so beautiful. Got some oxalis flowering here. It's one of my favorite little trail nibbles. Actually, I'm going to take a couple. You can see the bridge right there where we were standing to start the video. So you're not too far down to this point. Just love that ledge. It's so cool. How pretty is that, guys? Love it. All right, let's go make our way down to where the bigger waterfall is. I'm sure you guys will really enjoy that. It's absolutely beautiful. Just found another trail nibble. You got some wild spearmint here. You can see some older moose tracks. I'm not sure if they're coming out really well on the camera, but there's one there and one there. Must have come down to get a drink. So the last time I came down here, I walked across the brook over here. But what I'm going to try to do is get back onto some sort of trail up here in the woods because I wasn't able to get down below the falls last time. So that's what I'm going to try to do this time. Wish me luck, guys. So it's looking pretty thick down through here. So what I'm gonna do is kind of detour. I'm gonna go up in this mossy area and take a nice long walk around. It should be a lot easier walking. Let's get up that way. I'm all about taking the easier path. <laughs> And 
these guys are, well, it's supposed to be snowdrop berries, but there's no berries on it right now, but that's the greenery for it. You'll see little white berries sometimes. Kind of cool. Supposedly they're edible. I've never eaten them myself, but supposedly they are. Yeah, this should be a little bit easier. We'll walk along this ledge here and we'll come down. It looks pretty pretty nasty down in that little valley there. So we'll go up on the ridge. We get a couple mushrooms coming in. This one right here, little baby mushroom. Can't tell what he is yet. And there's another one right here. So that's cool to see. I really haven't seen much for mushrooms at all this year. We just haven't had the rain. But uh, maybe the last couple days it's been raining. I've been away. I just got back from visiting my family, which was awesome. I got to see my dad, my stepmom, my stepdad, and my mother. So that was really, really awesome. Much needed adventure to go see them. I've been here for so long up north and uh, haven't been able to see anybody, so it's really nice to connect with them. And a cool mushroom. It was really, really nice to connect with them. Actually, there's that's cool. So there's uh, some lion's mane growing right there, if you can see it. Maybe I'll try to go down and show you that. Cool mushrooms out here. I think I'm still going to walk up through here instead of going down to look at that lion's mane. Go where there is no path and make one. Actually, I do want to show you that. It looks really healthy. It looks new and fresh. So let's go take a peek at it. I believe it's lion's mane. It's so far away that it's hard to tell for sure, but I'm going to try to get down this little um, embankment here, and we'll go check that out. Actually, I see some more right down there, so let's go check them out, guys. Today, I have my hiking shoes, fully aware that they're going to get wet, and I totally uh, am okay with that. I brought a change of shoes, but last time I went to check out a waterfall, I was not very smart and didn't realize what it was going to entail to get down to it. And I ended up taking my shoe, my sandals off because they were kind of slipping around. And I ended up slipping on a rock and cutting my foot open pretty good. So that wasn't very intelligent. <laughs> so wearing my shoes now. Looks like bear's head tooth, actually. Sometimes these are hard to tell because they look so similar. That's a beautiful specimen. And I'll check this one out up here. It looks a little more fresh. Beautiful specimen. I might come back and get that when I head out. So you can start to hear the falls now. We're getting closer. Let's keep moseying down. Well, that's interesting to see all the way out here. I wonder what that's from. There's another piece right there. Looks like some kind of old structure. Hmm. All right, we're going to walk up this little ledge here. There's quite a few nice game trails through here, so it makes it easy walking. And I'm just on the ledge, just above the waterfall, and we're going to try to cut down. If I can't get down this ledge, I'll just have to go straight down the fall like I did last time. And now we're getting onto a real strong game trail right here. That's pretty cool. It's 
something's been out through here pretty recently. You can see all this moss kicked up and pushed away, whether they were digging for something or just running, who knows. It is right now the height of bear hunting season, so I gotta keep my wits about me, but I'm not positive those are bear. I'm probably, those are probably just deer or moose. But either way, keep my wits about me and It looks pretty difficult to get down this ledge, but we're going to work on it. We're going to try. I got all day, so. <laughs> Looks like it starts to go down right here. So I'm going to poke down this way. The good thing is, is I really only need to follow the river in case I go down too far and, like, you know, kind of get myself lost or whatever. I can't really because I just have to follow the brook here, so that's really handy. I love all these trees covered in usnea. That's something else that I'd really like to come back and gather some for medicine. This stuff is an incredible medicinal and uh, never can have enough. Oh yeah, we're going right down now, so this is perfect. Good path. I'm glad I chose that path because it made it a lot easier on me. Oh, we pissed off a squirrel. <laughs> That's pretty fresh moose tracks right there. So he must have been going through the woods. You can see those tracks really well. And they are quite fresh. So this is below the falls. I'm not sure if we can actually see them from here. Nope, we can't. But it's still quite beautiful, huh? Wow. Let's go check down here and see what's down here real quick and then we'll walk back up and I'll get you guys a nice view of the falls. Just going to have to work for it this time. <laughs> Looks like there's another little falls right here so we'll go check that out. What a beautiful spot to just kind of sit and dip in. That water looks nice and clean. This is like my favorite spot, I think, <laughs> that I've found so far because it's not on any beat, you know, it's not on a special trail that everybody knows about. It's kind of tucked away. And you guys know that's my cup of tea. Yeah, it looks like there's another nice little fall and a basin down here, so let's go check it out, guys. Definitely my favorite spot so far. And we haven't even seen the big falls yet. I'm going to go down see if I can show you this one. I might not be able to get down there, but... I'm going to try like hell. All right, we made it down. It looks like it actually goes down again if you walk down further. This is a nice pretty little fall here. Loving that. So let's see, do I want to walk down there? What I'm going to have to do is get back into the woods again and see if I can get to the bottom of this one. It definitely looks like a brook that has some nice deeper pools, so I bet you I could drown a worm in there and catch a couple of nice brookies as well. It's a prettier view of that falls there, if you can see it. Alright, let's see if we can find another one down here, and if not we're just going to walk back and I'll show you the big one. 
the most mushrooms I've seen all year. I love it. Here's some old spent chanterelles. Don't see any fresh ones, but I do see quite a bit along this ledge. You can see some here and over there. This one might be the newest one here. But not too many that you could pick. But they're definitely there. These rocks are super slippery right now. So yeah, there's a nice little basin here. Really cool to just kind of dip in and relax. And you can see the river or the brook branches off in two spots here. One goes this way and there's one going this way. And a little island in between them. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to try not to break my neck, but I'm going to walk up these rocks just because that's me and I want to. <laughs> so I probably put my camera off so I can pay attention to walking. Really pretty little basin there. All right, I'm gonna walk up this way, guys. Sorry about the little fog on the camera. It looks like it pretty well levels out, so it's probably not too many more waterfalls. There may be one or two down there, but uh, I think that the most of them are back here. So we're gonna make our way back, and I'll check out the other waterfall for you guys. I know I've said that like six times. <laughs> really cool how the rocks just put these craters in the in the rocks. They'll tumble around in there and make those little holes. There's tons of them all along here. What a beautiful spot. The woman at the, the North Mainwoods Gate, I asked her about this falls and she had no idea about it. So that's even better. <laughs> you wouldn't think, you know, if you were just looking at that bridge where we started, that there was any of this down here, because it's so dry. But there is all these little secret spots and I love it. Be a nice spot to sit and just have a little lunch. Keep your feet in the water. Oh, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Looks like right down here there's a small little falls that I missed, but that's okay. We're still making our way back here. Now those look so perfect. It makes you wonder if those were actually drilled by a human or if they are drilled by a rock. It's pretty cool. What a beautiful spot, all to myself. I have to thank my friend who is a forester who told me about this spot because this definitely is my new favorite spot. I can't imagine how beautiful this is right after the snow melt when the water is raging. So I'll have to come check it out then. 
as well. 